we in Liberty City, right here on 54th and 7th Avenue. And I am talking to, well, first of all, let me let you see, we on 54, because here come a 54 bus. Right here, passing by. That's a 54. See that 54? So we on 54. Um, Your name, sir? My name, my name. Willie? Yeah. Willie, what's your last name? Willie McClee. McClee, how long you been out here? This is apparently where you sleeping at, huh? Yes, ma'am. Why are you sleeping on the streets? What's going on with you? I have no place to go. What happened? I thought this homeless trust, the Camilla House, all these places, they supposed to help you. That's not true? Evidently, it's not because if you try to get in touch with a green shirt, we got to go too much when back in the days when you can just go to a homeless shelter and tell them that you have no place to stay. And they'll say, well, let me see if I can have a bed for you. And they mostly, mostly have a bed. Doesn't mm. care if it's a high top bed or a bottom bed. But now you got to go through the process now of uh, getting a green shirt and they tell you that, uh, we gonna come in the next week or two weeks from now, but they don't even come. Wow. They don't even so come. So they collecting so a lot of now, money for homeless if you're people. Lucky, if you're lucky to run into an officer that will pick you up and ask you, do you have any warrants or do you want me to take you to a homeless shelter where you have somewhere to get off the streets? Most of them say, yeah, but the majority says, no. Why they say no? Because it's not it's not working for them. It's to be in a homeless shelter? To be in a homeless shelter. What is what is being in a homeless shelter like? Okay, being in a home, homeless shelter like it's like uh they really too much is not. All they're gonna do is feed you and after they feed you they give you a shower and they tell you, Well, you can go where you wanna go. They don't em help you get employment? Trying to help, they want you to work. Okay, so they don't help you get work. No, nah, they just give you a piece of paper and tell you just how you came in. That's how you can leave out, but at the same time, they won't give you no tokens or nothing to get around. They won't give you no bus cards to get around. Well, how long you been homeless? I've been homeless for like four years now. And sleeping out here? Sometimes I sleep under the bridge. And you ain't got no help yet? You don't have no job? I don't have no job. I, uh, they won't come to me. I don't know why they won't come get me. Well, would you like to have well, a job? I, I would like to have a job, and I would like to have a place to stay. That's why I sleep out on front streets like this here. Four people just see me. Y'all, we need to help this man. I swear to God, this don't make no sense. He a healthy black man. How old are you? I'm 59. I just had a birthday. Did you? Was you in the military? No, ma'am. No? Well, he wasn't in the military, but he 59-year-old healthy black man and don't have a place to stay down caught hard times. What? When you first became homeless, how did that happen? Were you working somewhere? Yes, I was working. And when I came to Miami, I, was, I had got transferred from a job in New York to here. You know what I'm saying? So when I had the job here, it's just like it was totally different when I got here. It was it because of uh, uh, barriers, language barriers? Uh, a lot of work, a lot of Construction work. work? Yes. Uh, uh, most of the time, they would take the repeats that are taking the regular guys that they always, you know what I'm saying? And they always talking about they hire for construction, right? Yeah. Don't they have a, oh, you already have your OSHA card? I have my OSHA card. I have everything. And you still can't get a construction job, and they doing all this building in the city, right. especially right. on 62nd. They yeah. building Liberty and Square right and. Here. But you got people that come from other countries that come over here. They mostly, those are the ones living in the high rises. Those are the ones that's building the high rises. But you got guys that been here all the time, coming going back and forth the neighborhood. They can't get a job. They can't get a place to stay. Wow. So you think you think it's a discriminatory thing? It's designed to make so black awesome. black up uh, black men make us not be able to have a productive life to have a family? Yeah. 
Okay, so what are most of the clinics in the area right now? Guess they all see. Spanish on. Guess who you see sitting behind the desk? Hispanic, Mexican, maybe a Haitian, but. And what about the construction site? Yeah. So even fixing in the Liberty City area. And then you got Trump trying to deport all the people. Really? Yeah, really? I see you got black beans and somebody gives you some black beans. What you supposed to do with that? You want me to make the pot of black beans for you, sir? I, if, if somebody could, I I'll cook them. Them. I'll cook them for you. I'll, I'll definitely cook them to, for you. It's going to be a part two. I'm going to bring him a pot of black beans and some rice and a loaf of bread and try it again. I'm going to put $5 right now. That's all I got on me for taking this video because I appreciate it. But we really do need to help you get up off the street. Society, y'all hear this? If you're just looking at this video and you ain't make no effort to reach out, something ain't right with our people. This is a leap of faith foundation in the Dade County, Miami, Liberty City area. And all the tourists that be coming here to Miami trying to patronize, I heard they tell the um, people that's homeless, the police drive by and tell y'all to get up and go so the people can't see what's really going on in Miami, Dade County. Do you have a number for people to reach out? Yes, but all my people is out of town. I got one stepdaughter, and I hope she see this here. Her name is Danielle. And I just want her to know I've been here with her ever since she was a baby. But I just want to let her know. Uh, if you see this, God is good, Danielle, and everything's going to be all right. God bless you. I'm going to see. I'm going to probably try to see if I can set up some type of fundraising site and let's see how the people really react. And whatever they give, sir, I'll give at least half of that to you and half of it will go to a leap of faith. If they don't do it, they don't give, that goes to show how cruel our society is. All right, baby? God bless you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Mc Mr. McClee. Thank you.